We're here at one of our favorite places to go as a family, which is Red Robin. And here is one of our favorite appetizers, the onion rings. Mm -hmm. Woo. Yummy. So yeah, we're here celebrating Shang's birthday earlier because Rowe can come any moment now. <laughs> Woo! We are here on our family date night and we just want to share with you guys some questions that we like to ask each other to encourage each other, make the time intentional, and have it be very spiritually beneficial. All right, guys, we are done with our date. We had a very encouraging time. And so here are some questions that you could ask on your date night. Question number one is, how was your day? And don't underestimate the simplicity of that question because if you're already thinking about spiritual things and you're spiritually minded, spiritual conversation is gonna come out naturally. Yeah, so I was really encouraged on our date because I was asking Joanna how her day was and she let me know about something that the Lord was teaching her. So one of the things that God has been trying to teach me, I think yesterday, uh, I was having some fever-like symptoms and chills and I realized this morning when I woke up, I was praying and I realized, oh, maybe God was trying to humble me and teach me that I shouldn't be doing things on my own strength. And so that was something that I shared with Shang over dinner. Very encouraging stuff. Yeah, like Joanna said, don't underestimate how powerful that question is because if we pay attention as to how God is working in our lives, then we can just simply share that. And that is already going to be really encouraging to our husband or wife. And the second question that you can ask your spouse is simply, how do you think our marriage is going? Ooh, this is actually a question that one of our elders mentions that he really likes to ask his wife. And you know, it sounds like a loaded question, but really, if you come at it with the right attitude, where you're hopeful and excited and ready to just share and touch base, it can be super <laughs> beneficial to just kind of communicate. And you know, wives, you may need to uh, practice a lot of meekness and gentleness where you don't kind of just like unveil the whole panoply of issues that you may be having in the marriage. But you know, you just, you just tackle it again with that optimism and hope that the Lord is growing you guys and it's a perfect way to communicate and just um, make the date really meaningful. Another question you can ask your spouse is based on a follow-up question. So maybe you have a question about one of the children or you were texting about something that happened during the day. And so for today, for instance, Shang had his first Saturday work day because he started his new shift of Tuesday through Saturday. So I was asking him how it was going, how it was work, and that shows a lot of care and concern in how you think about your spouse and bring that thing up again. And the fourth and final question that you can ask your spouse is, how was your reading today? How was your reading today? Yeah, exactly. And so basically just sharing one thing that was impactful and encouraging from your reading can be very, very helpful. So for example, today in our devotional time, I read Mark 9 verse 29, which is all about Jesus saying that certain kinds of demons can only be cast out by prayer. And it hints at the disciples not having that faith to trust in God and rely on that divine power, which is given to us through prayer. And I was super convicted about that because I was thinking today, wow, I really need to be doing a much better job of praying for my ministries. One of the ministries here at our church that I lead is our Rock Solid Marriage Fellowship. And I'm thinking, man, I need to be praying for that group and the ministries of the group much, much more. And that's something that I can share with Joanna during our date night based off of that passage. And so it just really helps the unity and the communication. Okay, and so that wraps up our four questions that you can ask your spouse on your next date night. Hopefully that was very practical and helpful and edifying to you guys. If you like this video, like and subscribe. We will be putting out more videos for you guys in the future. But for now, we will be putting Samuel down. It is his sleep time. So goodbye, goodbye. Good night. Say goodbye, Samuel. Say goodbye. <laughs> All, right. All right, see you guys. Bye. Hi. 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 You want to say hi to to all the subscribers? Yeah, say hi. I'm sure you have a lot of fans out there. If you're a fan of Samuel and you want to see him on more videos, why don't you come? I love Samuel. I want to see more Samuel. Yeah. Hi.
yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You love the camera. It's, yeah. Hi. 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 We just finished a delicious meal and now we're going to one of our favorite dessert places. Bottega Italiana. Yeah. How is it? Good. Mm -hmm. This song. Oh, yeah.